what is going on guys this is an impromptu video um i don't know if any of you on twitter you should be following me if you are but mace has gone viral because in a post on instagram he's basically calling out diddy because diddy did this grammy speech about how you know the awards need to treat uh black artists better and you know uh, there were people who liked the speech you know you also had other artists as well like Meek mills all others uh, calling out uh the industry so to speak and their biases towards uh black entertainers specifically uh those in the hip-hop r&b genre even though there really is no r&b genre, genre anymore but be that as it may there's this post and you'll probably see it in the video or i'll just link you to the instagram post and mace basically says you know at diddy i heard your grammy speech about how you are now for the artists and about how the artists must take back control so i will be the first to take that initiative also before we ask of other ethnicities to do us right we should do us as black people better uh especially the creators i heard you loud and clear when you said that you are now for the artists and to that my response is if you want to see change you can make a change today by starting with yourself your past business practices knowingly has continued purposely starved your audit uh, your artists and been extremely unfair to the very same artist that helped you obtain that icon award on the iconic bad boy label let me just say this diddy has had a history of not paying his artists being you know basically squeezing his artists and when they are no longer uh, viable to him as far as making money, you know, he basically just tosses them to the side. That's been Diddy, you know. And the thing about Diddy is that he signed he signed a lot of these artists, I believe, to very bad deals. Now, the only artist today that is still prospering uh, who signed with Diddy is French Montana. And I believe um, MGK be signed with diddy they're still out doing you know their thing i don't know if it's an exclusive deal or a partnership deal i'm not really sure but some of these other they're probably other artists that i'm not thinking of i know it's gonna be people in the comment section like what about this artist jay or that artist okay whatever but diddy has had a history of doing this and i think mace hearing this grammy speech from diddy it sounded good it may have felt good to people but you know you have a guy here who doesn't like pay his artists who squeezes artists for all he can you know continuing for example you still got my publishing from 24 years ago in which you gave me twenty thousand. wow which makes me never want to work with you as any artist wouldn't after you know someone is robbing you and tarnishing your name when you don't want to comply with his horrendous business model it's a it's a very antiquated business model these 360 deals they basically buy your publishing by giving you a bunch of upfront money and you know these guys are going to end up spending that money up and they're going to end up on the record label um and you know you got guys who end up signing their publishing away however people would always ask what's up with mace so I would be forced to still perform to not look crazy when I was getting peanuts and the robbery would continue. So many great moments and people's lives and music were lost. But again, I rode with you in the face of adversity without flinching and you still wouldn't do right. Never said anything because I wanted to wait until I was financially great so I can ensure uh, so I can ensure that I was addressing this from a pure place and not out of spite. And to add insult, you keep screaming black excellence and love, but I know love isn't free. So I offered 
you two million in cash just a few days ago to sell me back my publishing uh, as his biggest artist alive that always show you respect for you giving me an opportunity at 19 years old. Your response was if I can match what the European guy offer him, that would be the only way I can get it back. Let me just say this. You know, Diddy is a businessman. You know, these guys can talk about black excellence all they want to. They can talk about, you know, working with other people who look like them. But the bottom line is we don't really practice true group economics because there's always more money to be gotten by other communities. You know, other communities, these guys are looking at their money because they have more money, you're assuming, and those guys are willing to offer more money. So instead of them saying, you know what, I'll take a little less to support somebody that looks like me, what they're going to do is they're going to uh, basically take the money from other groups of people because their money is better and because they're gonna offer just a little bit more. And if this is true, I'm not saying that everything Mace is saying is the gospel, but when you look at Diddy's history, can you say that Mace is not onto something? Can you say that, you know, Mace is not in his right to want to get back his publishing, which is where the money is long term? Because there are a lot of there are artists now who are getting their publishing back. Because what happens is with publishing is that the record label is able to make money off of you whether you're here or not. And your kids and their kids won't be able to benefit from any of that. That is highly unfair, but that's what happens in these deals when they sign. Why do you think they like to sign young artists that are still probably teenagers? Because they, these guys want the upfront money. They're eager to get into the music business and they want to sign with somebody. And not, I'm not saying that's how it is now because more artists nowadays are more independent and it's better to be independent than it is to go and sign a horrible record deal, okay? Where you're gonna end up owing the record label and they're gonna end up owning your, your, your publisher. Nowadays, a lot of more artists are more independent or they're doing partnership deals. But I think it's because of social media, it's probably better to be solo because if you have a strong social media presence, you don't really need a record label because record labels aren't really pushing the artists on their labels already. So what would be the advantage of signing with a record label unless that record label is going to financially uh, fund your recording? You know, you're working with producers doing features i could see if it was some deal like that but those deals don't have much often you some a lot of times you have to pay for that out of pocket unless you were a label that has their own in-house people you know but for the most part uh these guys nowadays don't have to sign these deals they don't have to sign the record labels now i will say this though record labels are offering a lot of money for these guys to sign that uh, uh, xx i believe uh, tentacion before his passing was offered contract you know a little pump as well but for the most part a lot of artists who are able to, to do shows you know who are able to make money off of streaming uh themselves as, as long as they're able to cover the production costs um, they're they're doing just fine just being independent they don't really need a label now to continue on uh or else I can wait until I'm 50 years old and it will revert back to me from when I was 19 years old. You bought it for about 20K and I offer you 2 million in cash. This is not black excellence at all. When our own race is enslaving us, if it's, all, if it's about us owning, it can't be about us owning each other. No more hiding behind love. You changed. Give the artists back their money so they can take care of their families. Diddy, it, the thing about now is that 
up until this point, and again, if I'm wrong, you can let me know in the comment section, but there hasn't been a lot of artists that have signed to Diddy that have called him out, from my understanding. There hasn't been a lot of artists to call out Diddy and his practices when it comes to um, the artists that are signed to his label, that he basically uh, took money from. And a lot of these guys, they're, they're not able to feed their families. They're, they're stuck um, with companies that own their publisher. And there's no way for... Uh, there's no way for them to get it back. And that's what Mace is in a situation. What Mace says he's in a better financial situation, which is good because we all wonder, you know, why would Mace come out of retirement? You know, when he did, was it money issues? You know, that could have been the case, but it seems that he's in a better place now, which is good. Uh, but the thing is with Diddy, man, Diddy is a hardcore businessman. And again, as May said, we can talk about black excellence. We can talk about helping out people who look like us. And you know, those speeches that these guys give, right? These guys give some very good speeches, right? And the one thing about these speeches like Diddy gave is, is to make us as melanated people feel good. It's, it's for us to, you know, feel in that moment uh, a, a sense of camaraderie, you know, a sense of, you know, caring for each other, you know, um, that we are together against the industry that is, you know, not being supportive of us. But the thing is, is that you got guys like Diddy, who is, he is the industry. And he has a, he has an opportunity to make changes himself with himself but is Diddy going to do that I doubt it I really do there's a lot of these these uh, guys like Diddy in, in the music industry who've taken advantage of his artists don't want to pay his art his artists you know that's just the type of guy that, that Diddy has been you know and the one thing I can say about what Mace is speaking about here is that Mace genuinely, I think, respects Diddy and he's never wanted to call out Diddy, but I think he felt like this was his opportunity to do what he felt like was right. To do what other artists may be afraid to do who were signed to Diddy because Diddy is still very much so influential in the industry, he is. Diddy is, is still influential to the point to where these guys are afraid to really speak out against him because they don't want uh, the backlash. Like, they really don't. But somebody has to say something. Somebody has to say, you know what? I'm going to stand on principle and I'm going to call out Diddy for his bad practices and how he's taking advantage of so many of his own artists. There was a running joke years back about artists who signed with Diddy and how their careers are going to tank and how Diddy would basically just take from them, you know? Uh, are we wrong to have, have known that years ago about Diddy? But then these same guys, because see, that's the thing, that's the hypocritical nature of the business. The business can be very hypocritical, you know? And people are starting to see that people are starting to see how you know a lot of the guys who talk about you know um different groups of people and how they are this and how they are that when they are engaging in behaviors that does not endear them whatsoever to anybody it makes them look bad again makes them look hypocritical and i truly believe that you may start to see a trickle down effect of other artists who are calling out the P Diddy's of the world. You might even see people start to call out Jay-Z, you know? They have, I mean, I think some may have already, but 
This is about Diddy. Diddy should do right by these guys before these guys end up saying more about Diddy. 